Hi, I'm Emmy Hall. Welcome to today's episode of Roadfly TV. This week in the Roadfly Garage, we had a Porsche 911, we had the new Golf R, and we had this, the 2012 BMW 650i. But honestly, I was most excited to drive this one, and I'll tell you why. Three words, twin turbo V8. Oh, wait, actually four words, convertible. This 2012 model has got a few tweaks on the body, but it still keeps its aggressive yet somehow refined silhouette. The front has got new LED fog lights and just a little bit of that old stubby shark nose along with a signature double round xenon adaptive headlights. The hood has got some elegant dual lines that sculpt back from the headlights and the sharper lines along the side make the car appear just a smidge wider and lower than last year's model. Under the hood, BMW has given us a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 which knocks out 400 horsepower and 450 pound-feet of torque. Now that's up about 40 horsepower and 90 pound-feet from last year's model which was a 4.8 naturally aspirated V8. This car is going to put your power to the back wheels via a 8-speed automatic transmission that can be operated manually but there is also a 6-speed manual transmission that's an option. Now as you would expect you do lose a little bit of room in this trunk here because of the convertible and it's, I can unlock it here on the fob but I have to operate it manually, which a car that costs basically as much as my living room and my kitchen and half my bathroom, I really want this trunk to be automatic. As for our laundry basket rating, it's not very deep, so I'm thinking it's gonna be pretty low. So let's try one here. I can wait, I can, wait. I can make it fit, hang on. Okay, let me try that. All right, trademark laundry basket rating of one. I will say that I enjoy the design aesthetic of this interior in as much as it's very, very simple. I mean, this car's got a lot of tech and a lot of gadgetry, but still the layout is very simple and easy to read. Everything is operated from this 10.2 inch screen, which is controlled by this little knob here. So let's see, you want your navigation? Uh, check. Bluetooth, I mean, come on, give me a challenge here, okay? So let's, um, let's start up the car so we can show you some other cool things. One thing that this car's got is the connected drive with the BMW apps. Now I don't have my phone plugged in here, but if I did, I could actually post to Twitter and Facebook from here. If that's your thing, it's kind of not my thing, but it's still kind of a cool option. Um, this car has got four different modes that you can drive in. You can drive in comfort, normal, sport, and sport plus. And while you're doing this, you can actually configure the sport mode if I want to to put the drivetrain and the chassis into sport mode, I can do that, or just the drivetrain, or just the chassis. So you've got, even within those different driving modes, you can select and refine it even more. It's also got this 360 degree bird's eye view on the backup camera, which is a little disconcerting when you first look at it because you think, is there a camera following me above my head 24 seven? What's going on? BMW is keeping it old school with a folding soft top as opposed to a hard top. This top can be opened in about 20 seconds and closed in about 24 seconds, and you can do that at speeds of up to 25 miles an hour. But think about it. If you saw a guy in a BMW operating a soft top at 25 miles an hour, what would you think? Please, don't be that guy. Just park the car. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can drive this car in four different modes, but we are gonna put it into Sport Plus because this car really does come alive in Sport Plus. So let's see what happens. <laughs> That's way too fast on a public road, but it really does come alive. And just from the first steering input that you put into it, you can tell right away, you can physically tell that you're in a different mode. I think BMW does a really great job of really differentiating the different modes so that you can really tell when you're in comfort mode, the ride is very soft. When you're in sport plus mode, the ride is absolutely beastly. I think if you get this car, you're gonna spend most of your time in either sport or normal modes. That's kind of what, uh, what any normal person would wanna be driving this car in. But man, that sport plus is fun. Now, while there is just a smidge of turbo lag in this car, the torque is pretty linear. It kicks in at about a relatively low 1700 RPM, and it goes all the way up to about 4500 where it starts to gradually taper off. So you really are just pulling, pulling, pulling all the way through those gears, all the way up to the governs top speed of 130 miles per hour or 150 miles per hour in this car with the optional sport package. Um, there is a heads up display. So good luck talking your way out of a speeding ticket because essentially your speed is right there in front of your face. 
The transmission can be operated manually through the paddle shifters here, and I found that it was really quick to shift and it reliably will set back to uh, first gear when you come to a full and complete stop, which is more than I can say for some of the other um, manually operated transmission cars that I've been in lately. Now, one thing I did miss in this car is an awesome exhaust note. I mean, don't get me wrong, it doesn't suck, but I was really expecting something a little more throaty and aggressive. I understand that BMW is more about refinement than it is about all out aggressive power, but still, something with a little bit of more bass in it would have made me smile. And this car just feels heavy, and it's one of the things that contribute to its EPA fuel rating of 16 in the city and 24 out on the highway. But honestly, good luck getting that because it is so much fun to drive in a straight line that I think you're going to want to floor it every single time. And now we come to it, the price. The starting price of the 2012 BMW 650i convertible is $90,500. But of course, you have a very long list of options that can add to that price. So, uh, you can add the cold weather package for $750, driver assistance package $3,900, luxury seating package $1,500, premium sound package $1,800, 20 inch wheels with performance tires $1,300, active roll stabilization $2,000, instrument panel with leather $1,500, ceramic controls $650, BMW apps, $250, and destination charge of $875, bringing the grand total for our test model to $105,000, plus an extra $25, because I didn't add that right in my head. Now, BMW does say that these customers will have two or three cars already in their garage, so you would probably have your daily driver, your luxury SUV to tow your boat, and now this, your Sunday Cruiser. That's it for this week. I'm Emmy Hall. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, you want to get in touch with me? Find me on Facebook or follow me on Twitter. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Where are the keys? Uh, down here. <laughs> click, 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 click. <laughs> there was one other thing. Else. So this really helps you out with all your blind spot problems that you might have. Oh my God! Oh my God, I just killed Chris! Holy crap! Now, one thing I did miss about this, uh, one thing I did miss in this car is an awesome exhaust note. I mean, don't get me wrong, it, it's not terrible, but, so it wouldn't be BMW if we didn't talk about the gadgets in this car. I mean, this car has got so much technology, I'm really surprised it doesn't sit down and make me a sandwich. There is a perk that you wouldn't expect. Through the center console is, da 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 da, a ski bag. So you can take your rear wheel drive convertible to the mountains to go skiing. <laughs> so random. <laughs>